Hi everyone, this is Ben at Medical Doorway. What we're going to do in this short video is show you how you can apply to five different Czech medical faculties in less than 10 minutes using one form on the Medical Doorway website. Now because there's no common app or UCAS system for applying to study medicine in the Czech Republic, we put this form together so you didn't have to go through updating your details every single time you want to apply to a different faculty because that would take a long period of time. You can use this form to apply for the medical doorway exams in the UK as well as actually getting registered for entrance exams held by the universities themselves in the Czech Republic. So very easy to get to the form. If you just head to the medical doorway website and we can navigate it from Google just by popping in medical doorway into the Google search bar. And when you're on the website, which we are now, there's a lot of different ways really to get to the application form. A little bit of a navigation through the home page of the website, you'll see different features of the website, including something called Check Test Prep, which is a question bank we've put together to help students that are registered for the exams. But if you want to apply, there are effectively three ways you can do that. You can go straight to the Universities tab here, and you can highlight one of the Czech universities and navigate to a university page that way. Alternatively, if you go to Medicine or Dentistry, you can actually navigate to the page of the Medicine page, the Study Medicine in Europe page, and at the bottom, you will see different logos for different universities, including the ones in the Czech Republic. And you can navigate to each university page and at the bottom of every page for the Czech universities, you will see a big blue button, Czech Medical University App Central Application Form. Alternatively, you can head to the exams page if you were looking at doing the entrance exams in the UK, because here we have all the exams listed and the dates of the exams and the location, be it London or Manchester. As well as that, we've got the country here, so you won't find that form on one of the uh, university pages that's outside the Czech Republic, because this is an exclusive Czech Republic application form. So like I said, you can click on one of the university pages for the entrance exams, and this is the entrance exam page for Palatsky University's exam in April. And again, you'll find the big blue button there, Czech Medical University Central Application Form. So when we click on that, it will take you to an encrypted page so you can complete the application form. We've also included information on the UK entrance exams here as well for the different faculties. So if you need any more information, have a look there. But like I said, you can use this form to apply for those exams, also to get registered for exams in the Czech Republic uh, held at the university campuses. What I would say is make yourself familiar with what the dates are going to be because there's no point filling this form in if there's no more exams scheduled at the universities. Sometimes there are exams scheduled later by us in the UK after the university uh, exams have uh, concluded. So the application form's here, and the only thing you're going to need to prepare before the application form is a scanned copy of your passport, either as a PDF or JPEG, just the personal details page. Make sure it's less than five megabytes when you're uploading it to the form. So if you fill the application form in, this should take us no longer than 10 minutes, starting off with our personal details. So we're going to apply as if we were John Smith. The first page of the first part of the form is simple personal information, including an address. If you have two addresses, i.e. a permanent address and a postal address, you do need to put down both. but only one address is actually required for the application, but do put down both if you have a postal address. For example, you're a student living away from your permanent address at that particular point. Again, you can choose medicine, dentistry, or the foundation program, which is available at Masaryk University. And one thing the universities are one, do want to be made aware of is which, uh, or how you're getting funded for your studies, I should say. So whether you're funding yourself, parents, or whether you've got a sponsor. In this case, I'll say that I'm funding myself with some support from my family and we'll give John Smith a passport number and because he's British, it will be issued by the IPS and it was issued, we'll say it was issued in 2015. 
the 10th of November, and then it will go expired on the same day, 10 years later. Okay, once you've done that, you've got to choose the universities. Like I said, you can pick up to five different universities. Just bear in mind that if you're applying for dentistry, that's offered by first faculty, Charles University in Hadrich Kralova, Masaryk and Palatsky University. So you can't apply to dentistry at Charles second faculty. So we're applying to medicine, if I remember correctly, yes. And we'll apply to all five of the universities. Now there's no charge for using this form at all. It's completely free of charge to use this form and get registered. So we will say that we are a gap year student. Okay, now you've, you've got to select the one that most appropriately fits your educational status. So whether you're currently in the final year of high school, you're a gap year student in that you took your high school diploma in the last academic year or previous academic years. You're a current university student at university studying now and due to graduate before, uh, before you enroll at the universities that you are applying to. Or you're already a graduate from a, a, a university uh, anywhere in the world. So we're saying we're a gap year student. So we will say we went to Liverpool sixth form. And that we graduated in 2016, so we're currently on a gap year. The universities often do want to know what you took, uh, whether that be A-levels, highers, advanced highers, the IB, the Irish Leaving Cert, high school diploma in the States, whatever it may be. And also an idea of the subjects that you took. Okay. Once that's done, if you have our graduate or are at university, you do need to include that on this form here as well. And then the last thing you need to do is upload a copy of your passport. That's there. And then you have to tick uh, this declaration here stating that everything you've put on the form is true and accurate. Once you've done that, you need to go through the Google recapture to make sure that you are Oh, and we've got to select squares with street signs now. There we go. And then we click send. Now, if there are any errors, it will tell us. But no, this was sent successfully. And that's it. You've now applied to the different medical faculties that you've chosen. Now, that will come through to the medical doorway team. And then we will be in touch with you regarding the entrance exams whether you want to register for them in the United Kingdom or whether you want to sit them out in the Czech Republic at the faculties themselves. But effectively, that's it. In this particular case, we've applied to study medicine at all of these five medical faculties in less than 10 minutes and hasn't cost us a penny. So again, if you need more information on that, drop us an email to hello at medicaldoorway.com or head along to the Medical Doorway website. There's lots of information in our newsfeed as well as on the website itself. And then if you have any queries, we'll be able to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks again.